just uh, talk about the uh, the scene in your locker room and uh, <laughs> what that was like for you guys tonight? Yeah, uh, I think it's it's a it's a once in a lifetime thing right there, that uh, locker room celebration we had. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Last game at home for a lot of a lot of the guys on the team, and I mean, it's it, it's, it was a good way to send them out. It's it's exciting and um, remember it for the rest of my life. That's for sure. And Matt Anderson came up huge. What was going through your mind when uh, Arizona State went up 21 points in that second quarter? Uh, you know, it, we just weren't doing what we were supposed to do on offense, and we knew it. I mean, Coach Dykes talked to us at halftime and said, you know, they're not really stopping us. We're just we're just killing ourselves, and we were. We were shooting ourselves in the foot penalties, you know, bad balls, you know, missing assignments, uh, all penalties, like I said. I mean, just stuff, little stuff like that. We were killing ourselves early, and um, that, that was the reason that they were able to take such a big lead. But we, we knew that if we do what we're supposed to do, and um, that they wouldn't be able to stop us. And sure enough, that's what happened. I don't know how many points we scored in the second half, but um, what would it be, 39, something like that? I don't know. But it was a lot. Yeah, can you expand on that a bit, Jared? In the second half, when you guys got rolling, uh, how, how good did that feel, and, and how confident were you as a yeah, group? It just I mean, like I said, it just felt, we, knew, we knew it. We knew that, I mean, for the most part, you know, Teams aren't going to stop our offense. We're only going to stop ourselves, and that was the case tonight. I mean, they 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 got a hell of a defense over there, but we were just clicking pretty pretty good all all game. Besides the first quarter and into the second quarter a little bit, and um, but like like I said, I, I, we knew that we knew we were just killing ourselves, and if we fixed that, we'd be fine. And we sure enough we did, and scored 40 points. And um, like I said, Matt Anderson came up huge and won the game for us there at late. Uh, a couple things. Could you talk about? The offensive line, you, you did not get sacked, I believe, by a team that led the nation in sacks coming in. Really? And and also, um, just what this does for you, sending you guys into into a bowl game with some momentum now. It's huge. It's huge. I think I said it earlier in the week. First of all, the line, yeah, played played a hell of a game. And I said it last week and the week before. They kind of you know caught their rhythm about two or three weeks ago and haven't given up much pressure at all, really, in the last three games. We've played some pretty good defenses along the way there. And um, yeah, with the bowl game stuff, it's it's exciting. I mean, we got a chance to win eight games now. And, um, I don't know how many Cal football teams have done that. You know, in whatever 50, 60 years. I think it's they told us like something like 10 teams have done it. We could put ourselves into that um, into that company, and that'd be great. I mean, an eight win season is is extremely successful, and no matter where you play. Oh, this is number one, absolutely. Um, just, just everything around it, the circumstances, and uh, everything that the I mean, the implications. There weren't many. I mean, we're going to a bowl game regardless, but just to be down by that much and then to come back and then to win it on a last second field goal like that is just. It doesn't really get much better than that. And um, yeah, like I said earlier, this will be the one that um, remember for the rest of my life for sure. said he was standing behind me in the press box watching that field goal and he, he I heard him say uh these guys deserve this do you kind of can you kind of echo that yeah I, I I think that's I mean we we do we, we we deserved uh that field goal at the end there I mean it was it was fitting that it came down to kind of a last second play and didn't really know which way it was going to go you know he misses it we lose he makes it we win and um sacked up and made it I mean that's all that's all there is to it uh, and uh, we we do des we do deserve it I mean we worked really hard and I mean, we've said it a million times over the last three years or so, how, whatever it is, how how much we've been through as a team, and the ups, the downs, you know, being so close, so many games, and and then finally, it kind of was a culmination again, of just everyone just coming together and working hard. And the be the best thing about it is that no one ever doubted anyone. It was, it, I mean, uh, that team in there is high character guys that really just don't quit and don't stop. And the defense just kept stopping them and wouldn't let them score, and they kept kicking field goals, and we kept scoring, and it just kept going and going and going. And, it's, it's just, I'm just so proud of my teammates and just really proud to be on this team. Yeah, what was it like for you to get that penalty field goal? It was great. I mean, we, we knew we knew if they kept doing that, we we're going to win the game. We knew we were just going to keep scoring on them. And it was a feeling we, we've had it a few times in my career where you know it just feels like we're going to score on every drive, and it was one of those games. You know, I don't think they were stopping us very much, and we had a good feel for what they were doing. And um, the receivers made some great plays. I mean, Darius Powell. 
probably one of the best plays of his career right there. You the one-hand catch and then score, and then Calfani to make that one guy miss, go down the sidelines. And I mean, it's, it was just an all-around effort, and it's, it's so exciting to have our guys and myself just enjoy it and, and just be able to experience that. It's great. Thank you guys.